What's up guys, Heeking here bringing you some new news regarding Resident Evil 9. So before I begin, I want to like and subscribe and let's go through this supposed leak or rumour. Now yeah, I'm just going to say, uh, this just came out literally the day after the, uh, was it the state of, no I think this was after the Capcom uh, pro online program they had in Tokyo, at Tokyo Game Show. I think that was a when Wednesday or a, was it a Wednesday or a Thursday? And yeah, we, we got no RE9 news, no, no RE news at all, anything. It was just mostly focused on Monster Hunter. And then this came out, and yeah, this 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 is clearly fake. And I'm going to go into it bit by bit explaining why it's fake. But there's a few people who are like, oh, this, this, okay, this sounds interesting, or is this legit? And it's like, it's clearly not legit. First of all, it's posted on 4chan. And yeah, sometimes you do get some troops at 4chan but this is one of those cases where it's like it's pretty much out there if that makes sense like so it doesn't match up with some of the stuff we've heard before but yeah i'm gonna go through it one by one and explain why it's obs so yeah uh let's start then so yeah the news on 4chan posted this entire detailed summary which you can immediately know like you know if it's very detailed like this it's usually bs and uh apparently the, the name of the game is going to be called re extinction so the rumors have been going on that it's going to be called apocalypse but now it's like no it's extinction apparently and it's like yeah that's the first sign it's bs they're not going to go for names from the movies i don't i don't feel like they would do that like capcom has to be smarter than this especially if if re9 does come out it can't be called apocalypse even if it was called apocalypse in the leagues and that was the original title they have to change it, it just it's just it, it would just be confusing but yeah let's go through the first stuff the game takes place on a Terra del Fuego island in Southeast Asia. The main source of inspiration was the Japanese volcanic island Miyaki Jima, which has a volcano that emits poisonous volcanic gas, causing all uh, causing all its inhabitants to wear gas masks. Uh, okay, so for, uh, I'm trying. Is this is this relay? Okay, the uh, the uh, the architecture of the village and small town is a mix of cultural cliches from all 11 countries of Southeast Asia. The main biological threat is the white mold, inspired by the real-life moldy fungus Tora Melanoeva in, new, in real life. It kills insects by completely taking over the body of its victim. In the game, this fungus was used to modify the mold that we know from RE7 and RE8. The white mold gradually covers the body of the victims, driving them crazy, and this is vaguely reminiscent of the stages of infection from The Last of Us. When the mold completely covers the body of the victims in something like a furry cocoon, various creatures emerge from these cocoons, reflecting ideas about folklore, mythological creatures of this region. White mold also covers the walls of various rooms, and near these walls the protagonist experiences terrible hallucinations. Okay, so... Uh... Uh... Okay, so let me let me go through the first part and explain why this is BS. The whole Terra del Fogo island, a lot of people are saying that that doesn't sound like a Southeast Asian island. Apparently it's more related to Philippines actually, so that it could be legit. I think it is, it, there is an island called that, I'm not too sure. But uh, it's it's the volcanic stuff. He's saying that the, the virus or whatever comes from volcanic activity, like, or somewhat. It's funny because that was the original plot line for RE5. Originally, they were gonna explain that the the you know that the new virus came was caused by volcanic activity. It was dormant, and the volcanic activity in the region woke it up, and that was gonna lead into the plot of the game for that. Uh, but obviously, that changed, uh, which is funny because when you think back, the original logo for RE5 was like a volcano, right, coming out. But uh, yeah, that, that all changed. It makes me wonder if, if we do ever get the remake for RE5, if they're going to be inspired by that. But yeah, immediately that, that just screams like, oh, this this guy probably read some stuff from the original RE5 and used it here. The whole white mold and stuff. Uh, first of all, the mold storyline is done. It is it is done, okay? Like Capcom themselves pretty much said that the DLC, Shadows of Rose, was meant to serve as an epilogue to the Winter's storyline. It's It's done. The winter storyline is done, so we're not getting the winters back, and, and and they were mostly connected to the mold stuff, so that's not coming back. That is finito, finished, fetic. So it makes no sense to go back to that. Um, 
and again, it, it just feels like they're ripping off, uh, like like it says here, like, oh, it's, it, it, it's similar to Last of Us, like the whole fungus infection. It feels like they're ripping that off, as well as Resident Evil 6's C-Virus with the whole cocoon changes in there, because that's very similar to that as well. Um, and the, ex the, the hallucination stuff is, is obviously, like, again, another leftover plotline from Resident Evil 5, where, you know, you're in the heat and you hallucinate. So, yeah, immediately, I'm reading all of this, and I'm like... So someone probably read the old stuff about RE5 and used it here. But yeah, continuing on. The main character is Adrian Clark. He is a tourist who arrived on the island with his son and wife. The wife was killed by local residents shortly after the start of the game, and the son was kidnapped for unknown purposes. The protagonist is trying to find him. Okay, so again, this is another, like, uh, obvious, like, yeah... Why? Because this sounds like the plot of RE7 and RE8 combined. The only difference here is is that uh, you, you're playing a new character who has who has who already has a family, but the wife now dies, and instead of a door, it's a son that they have to save. So yeah, immediately it's just like yeah, we're, we're just, they're just taking those cues from from those two games. And you have to remember, right? Um, if 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 the if the guy who directed Resident Evil. Revelations 1 and 7 is doing RE9. He pretty much said in that interview that, uh, you, you you know, he, ma he made it sound like that the new RE game is going to be sort of a change, like a step up or different from what, what came with RE7. You have to understand that they're not trying to do a, tr you know, I'm going to, again, I'm going to go into it later, but um, the point is, is that the next RE game would be similar to, to the equivalent of RE4 RE, and RE7 in that it's going to be sort of a semi-reboot. Them using similar story beats, though, is a bit repetitive especially when you take in the fact that re8 already was taking story beats from revelations 2 as well so what are you doing um sometimes leon kennedy who is about 50 years old at the time of the game helps him his role is episodic and he appears a little more often than chris in re village chris joe and claire are also present in this game they work with leon but they act somewhere behind the scenes Properly, the role will be revealed in DLC. Okay, so yeah, this is another thing that's making me go, what? So Leon is pretty much going to be the Chris of this game, but then the other f three characters are going to show up as well somewhat. Um, now, originally, when after RE8's release, release, I believe, it was Dust Golem who said that Capcom wants to make like a final RE game with the four main characters in it. But you're telling me that these characters are only going to show up, we're not going to play as them, we're not even, and we're only going to interact with them as a new character. On one hand, that's kind of cool. On the other hand, we've already done that with, with Chris, if you, you know, it's like, we want to play as the old school characters. We want to play as Jill, we haven't played or seen in present timeline for years now, same with Leon. So it's like, why would you do it like this? It makes no sense. Um, and, and, and then you're going to re release them as DLC afterwards. That just feels like a cop out. Like, especially when you factor in that we, we got to play as Chris in a free DLC and as Chris in RE8 at one point in the game. So, again, it feels like a massive cop-out here. Uh, the game is played from FBV, but after completing the game, uh, Over the Shoulder will be available. Also, DLC for famous characters are planned to be, are planned to be made only from Over the Shoulder. So... Again, uh, the game is going to be FP FPV, first person. See, this is another thing. The director of RE9 made it very clear that this is sort of going to be, like, the next game is going to be like a re relaunch, if you will. RE7 and RE8 forms a duology. That's it. It's not going to be a trilogy. It's a duology. So that means the first person view technically could be over with the next RE game. And, that, and, and it's just those two games that are going to be like that. That said, the Shadows of Rose DLC, oh sorry, the, 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 the Gold Edition of RE8 did give you the option of being able to play, you know, uh, over the shoulder view. So maybe this is a case where, you know, they're experimenting and they're gonna have RE9 be both modes, maybe. But, I don't know, I don't know, I don't see that being the case, or not. like like I said, like RE7, RE8 feel, feel like they matter in that, in that category. Having 9 sort of continue that feels a bit off considering the story is now over you know like it would have made sense if 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 if, if the story is continuing and then they, they keep that camera view but it's not so uh the volcano the volcano on the island has a plot significance some ancient uh, extramolars live there worshipped by the locals it is known that these extreme affiliate or whatever can strengthen the white mold and they are interested 
to both the connection. Oh, and they are both. They are both. They are. Of, they are of interest to both the connections and BSAA. BSAA is now completely under the control of Blue Umbrella, having completely corrupt, having completely corrupted by, uh, having completely corrupted this organization. It's oh, it's also known that Blue Umbrella supplies bio soldiers as weapons to other countries, and the world is on the verge of destruction. During the game, it is clearly hinted that its events will lead to an apocalypse. Okay, so yeah, that immediately is BS. Like um, we already know that uh, thanks to the shadow, uh, thanks to well, pretty much the epilogue of RE8, which takes place 16 years after the main game, that there is no apocalypse. Okay, things seem to be fine. Chris is still alive and he's watching over Rose. There is no apocalypse. Maybe and maybe the entire island goes to crap, or maybe one country goes down. But um, yeah, there is no apocalypse. So them sitting there going, "Oh yeah, this game's gonna hint at a, it's gonna lead to an apocalypse," is BS. It defeats the entire purpose of what RE is, which is stopping these events before it takes over the world or takes out the world. So yeah, BS, hundred percent BS, because yeah, we, we already know what we already have an idea what the world is like thanks to the DLC for R. Like, sorry, thanks to the epilogue for RE8. Hell, you can even include the DLC because. You know, with Rose, things seem to be fine. We read the letters about her going to school and that, and trying to be normal. So clearly, there is no apocalypse. Um, the game is being developed on the Advanced Rex engine. The announcement is planned for the first half of 2025. The release date is scheduled for early 2026. This game will support uh, PSVR 2. Okay, so they're saying it's being developed on the Advanced Rex engine. The Rex engine hasn't even been used. It's been see. This is where it's bullshit because it's the RE engine. The next level of the engine is called the Rex engine. This guy is saying advanced Rex engine. The, the Rex engine hasn't even been used for for these games yet. I don't even think it was used for Dragon's Dogma 2 or even the new Monster Hunter world. Like, so, I, I, I don't think anyway. Someone has to correct me on that. So the Rex engine hasn't been used yet. It's only, it only was announced like a year or something ago. So, yeah, like... I imagine I imagine that when the Rex engine, and especially when you can factor in that RE9 has been in development since RE8, so it's been in development for like what four, six years or something, like if you will, yeah, six years if it's been in development since 2018. So, and the Rex engine only got announced what last year or the year before that. Do you understand how dumb that is? And he's saying advanced Rex engine. I would have believed that if you said they're using the new Rex engine, but. No, you said advanced, so clearly, yeah, this is BS. The part that, the only part here that I somewhat believe is 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 that the game's going to be announced in 2025 and come out in 2026. And, and I'm only saying this because we have like three months left, two months left before 2024 ends, and it doesn't look like Capcom's going to have any other announcements coming out. And Monster Hunter comes out in at the end of February of next year. So I got a weird feeling they wanna they're gonna wait for that game to come out before they start marketing their next big game, which is gonna be RE9. So I've got a feeling that that is gonna be the case. Unless, surprise, surprise, we get we get a Capcom showcase in the next few weeks, or or RE9 is revealed at the Game Awards in December. But as for it supporting PSVR, obviously RE7, RE8. But yeah, guys, those these are the supposed rumors. I would take this with a heavy grain of salt. I do think this is BS. I don't believe a word of it. It's fun to speculate. It's fun to discuss these rumors, but it's very clear that this is BS. Very BS. So yeah, come on guys. You need to try harder if you want to convince us this stuff is real. Anyway guys, those are my thoughts on that. I hope you enjoyed that. As always, remember to like and subscribe and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.